Hey guys, this is The Lost Element here. I'm going to show you a very quick overview of remote tap for the iPod, a touch, and the iPhone. What this application does is that it allows you to actually control your MacBook directly on the iPod Touch or the iPhone over Wi-Fi or 3G. It actually works pretty well. Things you can do include watching videos or streaming things from Hulu and stuff. But other than that, it's a pretty cool application, very neat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you and touch my stuff there. I'm gonna choose my MacBook. It's four dollars and ninety-nine cents, by the way, for now. Although it says they say it's selling for a limited time. So you see, that's my MacBook Pro, and that's my desktop, and that's my iPod Touch. I'm only connecting it to the MacBook for power editors. There's no real need. That doesn't have to be connected. So you can see there is my desktop, and you can see that's my iPod. I'm going to show you some of the controls here. This there opens up all my open windows. So I'm going to click on Firefox, and it opens there. And as you see, it opened up there. I can click on anything. So I'm going to show you that's the arrow key. I'm going to move it there and I'm going to start typing from there to there uh, okay I'm going to hold that there so I can see oh let me this this way it's better for me to type this is me whatever as you can see it's typing real time there I can go to the menu the status bar and actually go to a different website so as you I'll just go to um I'll go to Google And you see oh, my Gmail is opening up. I'll go here and just click on a random one. I don't know what I clicked. I clicked Twitter. Why did I click Twitter? Oh well, it just went back to Twitter. I can go to my. Wait, I missed it. Clicked it. Okay. I can click my different tabs. If I can. There we go. Some lyrics. There's YouTube. I can actually close an application. I built, I think. Where is that? Up there. See, I closed Firefox. Or did I minimize it? Yeah, I minimize it. Let's see. Other application I like to open. I'll open up Twirl. Let mm. me open it up. Oh, it twirls minimize the dock. Okay, there we go. You see, I clicked on twirl and it came up. Oh, you didn't see it. Damn. Well, I clicked on it on the screen and it showed up. Now it's showing like me updating my status using the keyboard in there uh, to say hi. And you know, when you press enter on twirl, the thing is sent. So I'm going to press return. And it was updated. See, me hi via seismic using my iPod touch. So this is a pretty neat application. You can read your spaces if you have space. I don't have spaces on this iPod. You can choose to want to drag the mouse around, which I am currently doing right there, you see? Dragging it via the iPod. Or you can make it so that you don't drag, you drag the screen, and every place you click, the mouse moves. I personally like this one right here. You see, I can even do that. So this is a pretty neat application, guys. It's $4.99 right now. Um, now you can even you can even view all your current applications on the um, on your MacBook and open them from there. So let's I don't know. Let's open up. Uh, um, hmm, what should we open up? Right, let's open the system preferences. My screen dimmed, but system preferences opened. Could I open it from there? 
So guys, this is a pretty, oh, and it turned the screen undimmed when I moved the mouse on the iPod. So this is a pretty good application, guys. You should try it out yourselves if you want. I'm going ahead and put my regular thing there. So I can try to close that up, whatever. Anyway, guys, this was me doing a very, very quick review. At least I tried to, at least, of remote tap for the iPod Touch and the iPhone. You have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll try to answer them. Setup was pretty simple. All I had to do was download the free application for the MacBook and just input in a password. And then on the preferences on the application for the iPod Touch and the iPhone, you just scan for your MacBook and input your password. After that, you're pretty much done. I think all you really need is an, is an internet connection between the two and you'll be fine. So guys, that was it. Uh, until next time, this was The Lost Element. See you later, man.